My name is Bill Hoddle. I'm with United Power. This is our high voltage demonstration trailer. We go around when we get requests to educate people in the public about electricity and the effect on a human body, what we do, how dangerous it is, how people need to react in case of an accident, how fire departments, EMS need to react, some things for them to think about when they show up on the scene. It also shows the dangers of vehicle accidents and what can happen and what can be energized and what might not be energized. This part of the demo trailer is to illustrate what happens to the body, your fingers, and your internal organs when it makes contact. This part of the demo is to talk about vehicle safety, what we would like you to do if there's wires laying on your car, next to your car, if you're parked on top of a box or hit a pole, or we'd like you to stay in the vehicle until we can get there and show you that it's dead and grounded and safe to work on. In 2000, I journeyed out as a lineman. My accident was in 2006, so I was an experienced foreman, troubleshooter, lead lineman, and journeyman lineman. I saw a loose connector on the bottom of a fuse bay. I reached in there with no protective equipment besides my PPE and made contact with my right hand, the bridge of my nose, and my left forearm. My foreman and apprentice started CPR. EMS was there in about five minutes. A flight for life was on the ground within about 10 minutes. They put me in a coma and kept me there for 30 days while they worked on me. I had lost 57 pounds of muscle mass, so I had to learn how to walk again. I had to accept my injuries and the damage to my face. On the 30th day, I was able to walk to the shower, take a shower by myself. That's the day I went home. I started another seven months of rehab physical therapy on my own getting fit with a prosthesis, having cataract surgery, uh, and back to work. A lot of people have no clue what happens out here, and a lot of this stuff is a hidden danger. The reactions from the demo trailer that we get, I think it really gets people to thinking about what we take for granted.